Hello friend, uh, welcome back to the series. In the last video, we have received error while uh, running this, uh, while the capturing image because that uh, client system was uh, in domain. So what we will done, uh, sorry, what we have done on the last video, we have done in the last video, design the domain, that's it, right? So now we will log in with local account here. And once we log in with local account, okay, not an issue. So we will run that uh, file here. Let's see whether this is, uh, yeah, let's run this thing, yeah. Now it is, I think, running. Go to the task manager check whether this is running or not yeah it is running the window also came if you look at in the last video we have it, the window came and the late and also getting the error but now it's come immediately and if you click the next it's asking the destination where you want to save right so in the destination what i will where i say i will give them my ccm server name here ccm hyphen zero one right so if you Click the next. It is deployment. It is deployment folder and go to the OS. Uh, where what I will do? Uh, I will create one folder here. Uh, master image, right? M A S T E R. Master image. Master Win Seven image. This is the what I sorry. in seven image correct so i've created a folder here and uh, sorry uh, and same thing i can save it Your master win seven okay save and you can give the password username password for this image Okay. Uh, account name is administrator or you, we can give the my company right my company it's my company my company dot com slash T-M-I-N-I-S-T-I-T-R administrator okay that is done click next so it will take time to capture the image uh, definitely because uh, you know what are the things are done in this uh, windows 7 that will take the image and save it in this location definitely it will take the time so here you can say that you can give the company name right my company or you can provide the your name like by chandramani okay it's my name version you can say seven description you can say crq change request okay and click the next click the next so now the preparation of configuration uh, manager client has been started here so you know uh, it will capture uh, the image capture the this uh, this uh, client image and store it in the location where we give the destination location definitely it will take time maybe hours of time will take uh, depends upon you know the network path speed but definitely it will take what are the applications we have installed in these things right but uh, in our scenario nothing is there but uh, approximately it should time less time but till that time we have to pause this video and we will come back again once uh, this thing has done but uh, i'm sure it will very interesting if you look at these things instead of pausing this video because some things will come here to do these things like i can see you um see um, if you capture this image of the client some important points i will tell you for the knowledge like uh, if you capture this image of this client there should be a, a guid or a side right 
uh, security identification number and uh, graphical user interface identification number GUI. So these identification number should be changed. Then only we can in same network there should not be a same ID identity, right? Should not be a two RAM in the same, right? So it should be a different email address on the organization, right? So same thing like uh, the identification number should be a different. So it will run the sysprep also while this capturing the image. So it will help us to uh, deploy the image also at that time. So these things also be, uh, you know, to uh, her like uh, if you look at these things, it's very interesting. But yes, of course, uh, I cannot run this video to one hour because, uh, you know, I can run it, but uh, uh, boring right to you know seeing only this screen right it is very interesting if you the getting the new things and learning things but okay no issue i'm just pausing this video once it's completed then i will come back to you or uh, to complete this part okay if you look uh yeah if you look at guts the running sysprop command here and i start it i told you now it will start there are the different things are there at that time of whatever the requires are the amazing it will start because the capturing image and ccm it's uh, uh, you know configured that will be you know, very comprehensive and very reliable to do these things right so it has been started yep it's running syscript command uh, syscript command basically used for the changing the SID and gui right remember this thing Yeah. Uh, so now the uh, capturing image is done, then it will restart within 22 seconds. It's counting, otherwise, you can restart manually also here. Uh, by clicking here uh, otherwise you can wait for the 15 second it will restart automatically and uh, you will get this uh, you know uh, image the location which where you give right so we give an SCCM folder in the deployment folder deployment OS that is uh, we name we given that master image so now if you see here it's automatically restarting this system okay it is restarting Uh, see, but if you look at here, the starting uh, the SCCM, uh, I mean, client is out like the way before it was start. So it is something loading right windows. If you look at, um, it's a network boot like, okay. So this is how this, you know, capture the image, uh, you know, uh, with the using the SCCM what we done if you remember these things all we need done like in SCCM and just we run this image to that command and it has been started yeah it is uh, see after starting this thing it's came like initializing hardware devices it will initialize still it is not complete properly so till that time we have to be waited it, it, it is initializing correct it window is starting off yep initializing windows p p means it's a pre-execution environment pre-environment it's called p pre-environment so scanning volume one of one there is one volume and it is scanning okay capture the referencing machine the reference machine is this one only and it is capturing and volume scanning here so there is not a difficult things here to capturing image it's a very good things just to capture uh, create the capture file and from the system and uh, you know mount it to the client system and the capture image which image you want to capture you can install all the application on one image make it the master you know os and then run this image so it will capture uh, that image and it will be a master image through the master image you can deploy uh, lakhs of systems thousands of system through the ICCM OSD that is what are called OSD deployment right earlier we have deployed to putting the CD you know it's not also secure way to do it right but this is the way it's very secure you no need to CD you know because the organization for the security purpose they have banned the CD and the USB block all these things so definitely it is a one kind of security prospective things and it's a really announcement and also it's a really reliable or uh, to do you know within hours you can deploy thousands of system correct 
so we have to be pause this video because it will take some time to you know complete this scenario uh, so still it is not completed so it will take you know a lot of time to do it uh, but uh, but we can deploy the uh, os through our the uh, master uh, we have another uh, image right which is not a capture uh, simple OS so here if you go to here so we have done this right Windows 7 home basic this we have added uh, it's a simple OS we just copy these things and the location and edit here if you remember right but uh, there is no master uh, which we have capturing here now still it is not completed uh, hence uh, uh, we didn't add here so we can deploy this uh, OS now here for that what we I will do uh, so we will wait you know till the time if uh, to complete these things but it will take time so instead of these things we understand how to capture the image this is the way we will uh, capture the image so it will take a longer time to do it but uh, no issue in the next video we will uh, learn how to deploy the um, OS and the next video we will see you. Thank you very much guys if you really like this video if any questions any uh, doubts uh, in this you know on the OS deployment you can put in comment so uh, I can reply and also you can like my video subscribe my video to get you know new videos on your mailbox so thanks thanks for watching we will uh, see you on the next video